We want to, we want to address feelings and statements that scare you to fucking death. You have to face your head on and go, well, here I go. Either I'm going to die or I'm going to succeed. Well, in the gym, there's always five reps. Whenever you think there's not five reps left, you have five reps. When you're, when you're hurting, when you can't breathe, when you can't get up, you can get up five more times. In life, too. In fact, I always say to my guys I work with, does the gym imitate life or does life imitate the gym? There's no answer for that. I had a lot of time to think about why I do this and, and what it means to me and what it means to my spiritual existence, and I want to do it. You know, I learned about life in the gym. Squatting, I learned about how to give, go after what you want, how to get what you want. The same attitude I apply to other things I do in my life. But the gym is my home. I learned about life, I learned about winning, losing. I learned about, I, I, all my girlfriends are from the old gym. I mean, my ex-wives, that's why I had to leave. <laughs> Well, speaking of balance, the, uh, the word on Tom Platts has always been greatest legs in bodybuilding, too bad he doesn't have an upper body, as fabulous to match his legs. Talking about balance, I mean, nobody ever said Arnold's arms were too big, you know, and his legs were too small. It just so happens that nobody's used to seeing, you know, legs like mine. This is the squat rack, okay? It's where life and death will take place every workout. I've put a lot of finesse into my training now. And in the old days, I was a gutsy football player type trainer. You know, the men's are heavy duty. I like to train that way. Put the plates on here, the throat, the, the throat rattle plates, you know, go get nuts. But I think I still do that, but I have more finesse about my training now. And my body shows that. And I'm more aware of what I want to create and the balance I want. My attitude, the way I walk to the gym in the morning, the way I get in the car, the way I get on the phone, uh, I have an inner confidence that I've never really totally understood. I would never get relaxed. I, when I endeavor to go down in the squat, I get my whole body tight, my head, my nose, my ears, my ankles, my feet, my toes bottom of your feet, your back, your shoulder, everything's got to be tight. Nothing can be loose. It's like you're in a totally tight, taut condition. And everything is pushing you down and up both. You don't relax the bottom during the course of the motion. never scared of the squat. Every workout, I'm scared shitless, you know what I mean? I, it's not that I like squatting that much, it's just that I like the feeling, I'm addicted to the feeling after. Challenge. When you're done squatting, you get in the car, you go, I can do anything, right, right. anything. If I can do that, I can do anything. Right. Everything else is easy. Good quality squatting yields great results. Every 10 years, you want to put it together one more time. And every 10 years, I, I like to put 315 on my back and just do 15 good reps. To me, if, you're, if you can do that at age 50, 60, it, it makes you feel good. Come on, come on.